Assalamu alaikum. Here's the map I've done for you. Um, so on the right hand side where it says before Makkah, you've got um, your planning stages such as booking your flights, getting your meningitis injection done, booking your visa with a registered travel agency with uh, the Saudi Embassy. It'll cost you around between 100 to 120 pounds per visa. And then, um, you know, some um, important knowledge like making sure that you haven't got any debts. Also, your funding for Umrah must be halal money. On the left hand side, where it says in Mecca, you've got the stages of Umrah. Uh, you've got number one, putting on your hiram, which is your clothing. Number two is to do your tawaf. Number three is to do your sayi. And number four is to have your head shaved off, basically. So uh, I've got some videos for you uh, on the planning stages. So, so you know, I've done some videos. You'll uh, hope you like them. So uh, let's get started. Salam, brothers and sisters. Uh, as you can see, beautiful view. It's Sunday, about 12, 12.30, I think, in the afternoon. Um, I've got two days to go for my travel. Um, just to let you know that the visa service has been so frustrating. You know they take so long and they give you different dates of arrival it's just been absolutely frustrating but inshallah it's, it's here now so uh, i'm so excited and uh, uh catch up with you with my next video good instructor that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. yeah this is my family i've got two boys little one here Big one over there, and the little princess. Come on, Amira, you can do it. What you looking at? Yeah, you, talking to you. Whoa, look at my daughter. See, guys, there's really nothing to it. Anyone can do it. Well done. Salam. Hope you enjoyed my previous video. I love them making. I love making them for you. Um, so uh, let me let you into my uh, luggage and backpack. I'm just about to pack them, really. So here's what I've got. Uh, most importantly, I've got my passport, my travel documents, including uh, photocopies of the airline ticket, hotel uh, confirmation, and so on. And and then, as you can see, I've got the Hajj and Umrah made easy. Really, really cool. Uh, you can't go wrong with it, it tells you everything step by step, du'as, everything's in it really, uh, in English, Arabic as well, translation as well. So you've got the travel documents, you've got the Hajj and Umrah guide, you've got some pens there, and you've got my uh, notepad there, you'll definitely need the pens, especially in the plane, filling out the forms. And you've got my credit card size uh, spare mobile phone, unlocked, so it'll work with Saudi, Saudi Arabia's uh, SIM card as well. You've got the portable prayer mat. And some batteries, so I'll tell you where you need them. Got some leads, two pin attached to a three pin for the hotel. Need a torch just in case. A camcorder, SIM card, sunglasses. Oh, that's my son's ignore that. <laughs> um, foldable bottle to store water. This is a, a digital sunglass, you can, you can take pictures with it. Uh, record videos and so on quite cool you know um, it's weird when you're holding a camera sometimes uh, people are looking at you so uh, that'll come handy uh, some wipes um, batteries and chargers and so on this is something is oh, something's quite cool that I want to show you so you've got a bag waist belt bag to store your cards for um, phones or money if you want to call it. I've got another one for which goes around your neck really. Yeah, so that's quite cool as well. So look, um, Colgate Herbal Toothpaste. I'm just going to read this and make sure that everything is okay. It's got some Arabic writing in it as well. Some sweets again. I just need to double check this to make sure that you know it's all it's all okay. Um, to brush my teeth, obviously. Um, some snacks here, broly. You need that definitely. It's really really hot over there. Um, some fresh socks, tissue. Definitely need the tissues. Sandals. I've ordered some more. Actually, I've ordered another pair as well. And um, that's for taking selfie, as you know. Everybody will know what that is. <laughs> uh, 
uh, lots of uh, uh, medication, well not really medication, uh, you can buy them in Asda, as you can see it's got Asda written on it, um, plaster, um, in case you get tummy aches and stuff, so you got all, you got like uh, chest and cough tablets there, um, some safety pins, you, you'll need the safety pins just in case, uh, take them, you know, I'll tell you why. Um, so look at this, my son. I was trying this out actually earlier. This is a like a watch to keep time of everything to do your salah. There you go. See, so it works. And let's have a look. Now this this will come really handy really because when you're coming back or when you're traveling, you know you want to check to make sure that your luggage is below um, the amount of weight that you're allowed to take with you. And uh, herbal soap. Um, body spray, oil, um, shaving blade. So look. Most importantly, your ihram. Two pieces of clothing there. Jubba. And my hats. Not to forget. Let me show you. Backpack. And my luggage. Now this is quite cool because you can actually lock this one, it comes with the lock so you don't have to buy any additional locks or anything like that. Yeah, opens up and to lock it you just have to click it like that, there you go, all done, so it won't come off, quite safely done. Oops. Yeah, one more thing, um, because it's really hot over there and humid. You know, Vaseline um, is really, really good for you, for your feet. Uh, it's uh, it's something that you've got to take because everybody I've spoke to have said to me that, you know, take Vaseline. You, you have to take Vaseline. You're going to get really tired. It's really hot and humid over there. And uh, also, of course, not to forget is, is Aptol. You know, there's so many different ones out there now. They cost around about £2, £3 each. You can take, you know, different ones. Uh, here's, a, here's one for the nights. I've got one for the day as well, and uh, Nivea face cream. Um, there's different types of cream. Um, you know, the sun is blazing hot over there apparently. So uh, whichever cream suits you, take it. Okay, so just practicing wearing my arm. If you know any better, please let me do. No, any tips will do. So let's have a look. It's quite easy actually, so I just kind of uh, take it across like this and take it all the way around like so. I just fold it down so it's nice and strong. Once you fold it down, to be honest with you, you know it's it's really strong. Then <laughs> you won't come off. I promise you, it won't come off. The next one. Some people do use safety pins as well to hold it together. So this is quite easy really, just to sort of take it across like this as you can see. And you can easily get your arm out. So you've got your face uncovered, right arm uncovered as well. Nice and easy.